Good evening there, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. Hope everybody's had them a good day today. It's getting on up and being a beautiful evening here, being a beautiful day, and it looks like a beautiful evening. So I'm getting this supper finished up. I'm doing a couple of videos here at the same time. And so I got that other uh, one I just worked on, getting it in the oven. And now I'm gonna make these uh, make these up, y'all, and they are a, they're a crusted, they're a crusted hamburger steak, basically. Uh, it's almost like a, a, just frying up a pork chop or a piece of chicken or, you know, it's not like doing chicken fried steak because you don't do double dip with the egg batter and stuff. But this, you, we're going to stir these hamburger patties up, season them up, stir them up, and then you flour your patties and then you fry them and get that crust on the outside of them. It makes for a kind of a different kind of hamburger steak and a little different take on it, you know, because you get, you're always trying to come up with ideas, right? And this is really good. So what we'll do is fry these patties up and then with that drippings that I have in there, I'll just make up an onion gravy thing to have with them. And uh, I've got some rice that I'm going to probably put them on buzzle wanting some rice or something with it i just like the meat with some of the onions on it and it's good to me but anyway it's a crusted hamburger steak okay and there's something i gotta do with my hands y'all i know so let me take my ring and my daddy watch off okay i've got in here i've got about a pound and a half maybe two pounds it don't matter it's not this is not a measuring um recipe okay this is just cooking. So y'all keep that in mind. So however much many people you gotta feed to make uh, your patties, right? So you just get your hamburger meat, your ground meat, you get you some Worcestershire sauce. Get some Worcestershire sauce going in there. Okay. We're gonna take some chopped onion, the dried chopped onion, okay? Get that in there. Regular old salt, salt it down, and some black pepper. I'm still loving you, Jojo. Every time I crank this thing, I think about you. You saved me. Okay, that's all we gotta do with that. Now, before I get my hands in this, I've got me a little tray here. What, look at this little pie plate, y'all. I think I may have showed them to y'all before. I just love these little pie plates with the color on them. And it's the small little pies. Look at that. And this one's that little light green color. And then I have another one, a kind of a salmon color. Anyway, I'll hush about that. Okay, I need to get me some flour in here so I can dip my, or dust my steaks in it. So I'm going to just put me some flour in there, regular all-purpose flour. I wanna make sure I got it good and salted. And some more pepper. Because you want that crust to have some flavor, right? Matter of fact, I'm going to get me a little bit of garlic powder. Let's put us a little bit of garlic powder in that flour. That'll be good in it. Give it some more flavor. Okay. So let me just stir that up. Now we got us some seasoned flour. And you know, really, you can do season your flour with anything you want, right? Whatever some of your favorite flavors are. It's very versatile like that. But like I say, it just gives you a little bit of different take on making hamburger steaks. So let's get it mixed up. Nothing to it. Okay. All right. You see how many I want to make out of this. That's another thing. You make them the size you want, right? Let's see if I can do it like this. I'm on. These are probably about like a, what a quarter pound patty would be, more or less. Mm 
Okay. It's a little bigger. There we go. This one. I think I'll add some to this one. There we go. Now I'm feeling good about it. So I got me five of them out of there. So move this out of the way. Show you. I've got my little. All right. Now I'm just going to take them. Get them rounded out. And you don't want to pat them like really thin like a hamburger patty because they're a hamburger steak, right? You're, you're trying to uh, keep that with it. Okay, so just, you have to be gentle with them, but you can do it. You can make them, they'll stay together if you're careful. Okay, this is all I'm doing to it, y'all. Get me some flour on the outside of it. Get them all floured up and do that. Okay, so we're over here at the stove now. I've got got them done, see? And, I, and it's a, always a good idea to just let them set for a little bit. Just let them set after you get the flour all on and everything. And that makes it help adhere to it a little better, right? So I've had them sitting there a few minutes and I've got me, I've got a pretty good bit of grease in the bottom of this pan. I mean, it's not like they'll be floating, but you know, I want to make sure I've got, uh, you know, I've got a, a, it's about yay much in there, okay? It's not just covering it. It's, it's got a little bit of depth to it. So, we want to just go ahead. And like I say, you just have to be, be easy with them. I pick them up like this and I barely, barely knock that extra off of there that's on them. Because you want as much of it to be on there as you can. Okay. They're in there. And now we're going to just fry these on a medium heat because we want them done through and through. And we want the crust to be on. I mean, it's a crust. When I say crust, y'all, don't be thinking that it's like a chicken fried steak crust. It's just, like I say, it's a different take on fixing your hamburger steak. And that it has a, a slight crust on the outside of it that's not just seared hamburger meat when you do the hamburger steaks. Anyway, you'll see what I mean if you try it. We really do like it. And, uh, uh oh, let me see here. So anyway, we will uh, let these cook, and I'll show you when I flip them. You'll see what I'm talking about when I flip them too. The difference in the way they look from just uh, frying a regular hamburger patty in there. Okay, now I'm fixing to start flipping them because I'm gonna flip them more than once. Because I want to watch my crust, right? I don't want to burn my crust. But once you've got them, once you flip them this time and let them, uh, let that crust seal on the bottom, then they're way easier to handle. You ain't got to worry about breaking them apart or nothing. But I think you can see, well, you really can't, can you? I want you to be able to see the difference in how the crust is, um, that it's actually got some crust there, that it's not just uh, seared hamburger meat, that that flour is browned on it. So we're going to let them cook. Just keep frying. Just Like I said, I've got it on a medium heat. Just frying medium and watching them. And I'll turn them again and get that crust. Just keep working on my crust. And by then, uh, when my crust is ready, then uh, my inside of them will be good. I want you to know I keep turning them. I've turned them like three times, three or four times, because I'm watching my crust. But I know they're not done <clears throat> completely in the middle yet. So I'm watching my crust. So I, I, like I say, I keep turning them. 
so that it, it gets that even cooking on there that I want it to do until the insides of them are done. Just letting you know that I turn them more than once. I turn them three, four times, whatever it takes, until I see what I want to see on a good looking crust on there, right? I believe my crust is looking good, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and just turn that fire off on it. And what I'm going to do is take them up. I've got me a little rack here where they sit there and drain on it. I'm just going to take them up like this. And get them out of here. Okay, now, what I want to do now is I got to get this grease out of this skillet um, because I want to use that all that the goody in there because I'm fixing to put me some onions in there, y'all. So I got to take this grease up. Okay, you see what's left in there? That's from that flour burning in there, cooking and browning. So what I've done... I've got me a whole onion over here cut up and ready. Okay. Get my fire back on. We're going to just take it, stir it around in all this, and let that onion kind of get cooked a little bit in there. I want to bring out some of the sweetness in that onion, so. Let's just stir it around and let it cook, and we'll finish up on this skillet. All right, so I've got them pretty much where I want them, right? Just kind of browned a little bit, nice, and let's put some pepper in there on them. Get some pepper shook in there, ground up on them. Now, I'm not going to add any salt to it, y'all, because... I'm fixing to put me a little bit of this here beef bouillon in there. You better be careful with it because it's very salty, right? And that's why I'm not putting no salt in there. Now I've got me some water in this cup. Let's turn it down. Stir it around about like that. Give it some flavor, flavor. Let that bouillon get dissolved in there. And depending on if you want lots of gravy for it or if you just like it just like this. You can put it on there just like that, like it is. I'll go ahead and add me a little more water. Now I'm going to turn it back up. Stir it around in there. And that's going to make this ready to go on top of our crusted hamburger steaks. See what I'm saying about it? it's a little bit different take on it? Let me show y'all up close how they look. You'll see what I mean. See, look at that. See, it gives them a little different deal going there, doesn't it? And that crust is good, y'all. Okay, I'm turning that off. There we go. We've got some goodie to go over the top of them. We'll get them and plate them up. And, and I'll show them to y'all when we get them ready for that. Here they are, y'all. I went ahead and took them up. Put the onions on them and drizzled that over there and stuff. And there they are. And look, hear that crust on it? You know that's good. It gives it, like I say, a whole different take on it. Mm-hmm. It's still a hamburger steak, right? But it's just with a little different touch. So that's what I wanted y'all to see with doing the crusted ones. So y'all give it a try. I'll guarantee your family will eat that. <laughs> y'all have a great evening. I love you. And I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye.